Welcome to the second update of my panning project. I am doing the It's Panning Cats and Dogs 2 project. This was developed by Deb B and Danny from Danny's Makeup. I will have both of their channels listed down below. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab. The Pantastic Ladies have a group over on Facebook. There are all kinds of projects that you can get involved in depending on what your interests are. And if you're new to panning and not sure at all how it works or what you're supposed to do, there are so many people there who are willing to lend a hand and help you out. So the It's Panning Cats and Dogs 2 project is a prompt based project and the prompts just give you something to think about and then you go through your collection and find a product that matches that prompt. So the way this is going to work, I'm going to show you what was in my basket last month and let you know how I did on it. Then we're going to spin the wheel and pick new prompts for the ones that are rolling out and then I will turn off the camera, go find the products that I plan to put in the basket for this month and then I'll come back and talk about it and wrap it all up. So last month I had one product that rolled over and the prompt for that was catnip and that's a product that makes you lose your mind. And I had the e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist in there because this is my absolute favorite setting mist and I think that if they discontinued it I probably would lose my mind. I had a usage goal of 15 for this and I had used it 13 in the first month. So I did use it the remaining two and then I just stopped tracking because I use it all the time anyway. So but I have now met the goal for this and so this one gets rolled out. Then I had four new products for last month and the first one was in the prompt Catitude. And this is a product you wear when you're feeling sassy or that makes you feel sassy when you wear it. And I put in the Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte Lipstick in Wine Room. This is a red lipstick. And there's just something about wearing a red lip that makes me feel confident and a little bit sassy. But I don't wear a red lip very often. And I set a usage goal of five on this. Unfortunately, I've only used it twice. So this one's going to have to stay in there so that I get three more uses out of it. The next product was for the prompt Scooby Doo. And that was a mystery item, an item that came in a mystery bag or an item you've never tried before. I don't think I have anything in my inventory that I haven't tried before. So I went the mystery bag route and I put in this complex culture powder the set go translucent powder in clarity and i set a usage goal for that of 10 and i actually did use it 10 times i put this in here because i didn't really remember what i thought of it and it's okay this is not my favorite powder it is very finely milled i don't know if you can if i, if I just like tap there it, there's this powder that kicks up unfortunately i feel like it makes my skin look a little dry which is interesting because I don't have dry skin and normally powders don't do that. So I think I want to keep it and use it in the summertime and see if it has that same effect of making me feel like it's a little bit drying. We have very hot summers where I live and so typically I need a powder that's going to help mattify a little bit more than a powder that I might wear in the winter time. So I think I can get good use of this in the summer. But I did use it 10 times and that gave me enough information to actually form an opinion about it. The next prompt was Chihuahua and that was for a product that the beauty community can't stop yapping about, which I think is hysterical. But anyway, the product that I chose with the help of my daughter, because I really couldn't think of one, was the Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. This one really isn't talked about a lot now, but it did have a moment because it was one of the first of the Charlotte Tilbury dupes with that sponge tip applicator um, now like everybody and their brother has one but i think this was kind of the first one that ventured into that realm i set a 10 usage goal for this as well and i did meet that um, i had thought maybe i would get through more of it by using it 10 times but it, there's still you know there's still about that much in there so this will go back in my highlighter drawer and i discovered that i really do like it and i want to use it more and then the last item that I had in my basket, because I'm doing this as a five product rolling project. So each month I will have five products that I'm working on for that month. So the last product that's in here was for the prompt Labrador slash Golden Retriever. And these are hunting dogs. And so this was a product that you had to hunt down or was hard to find. And so for this one, I have the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. And I think I actually got this off of eBay because it's been discontinued. And I put a pretty good dent in there. 
I set a usage goal of 10 and I did use it 10 times. So I get to roll this one out and I'm going to actually roll this into my PUD basket. I don't still officially track PUD and do videos for it. By the way, that stands for Project Use Up the Dribs and Drabs. That was the project that I had in 2022. It was so incredibly successful. I used up 63 makeup products in one year just by focusing on products that were almost gone. And so when I get something like that, it's almost gone. I don't know if you can see, there's like almost no powder left in there. This concealer is just about gone. I'm just kind of scraping the edges. Uh, anyway, I put it in this basket now. And then I know that if I'm just getting ready for work or I don't really know what I want to use, reach for this basket. And then when things are gone, they go in my empties. So I'm putting that L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base in there because I realize it's discontinued. And so that makes me want to not use it because then it'll be gone. But that's silly because then I'm not using it anyway. So it's in there and I'm going to try and use it up. And I mentioned last time that I have to have super low tech, super easy tracking. And so my tracking is a piece of notebook paper that stays in my basket. And I write down the prompt and what and my goal. And then I have a pencil that stays in my basket and I just use tally marks and it's working for me. If I had to do any complicated tracking, I know that I would just not do it. Now I'm going to pick the new prompts. I need to pick four new prompts because I rolled out four products. So here's our wheel. Sharpay. I'm just going to pick, write these down, and then I'll tell you all what they mean in just a minute. And I am going to remove it from the wheel so that it doesn't get picked again. And then if I use them all up, then I'll just put them all back in the wheel and start over. All right, second one. Poodle. Okay, I reduced the spin time because that was taking forever. Number three. Agility. And remove it. And number four. Pug. And then the fifth product, remember, is the Wet n Wild that will roll back in. All right, I am going to shut off the camera, go pick my products, and then I'll be back, tell you what these mean and what products I am pulling in. All right, products have been selected. So the first one the wheel chose was Sharpay, and the prompt on this is a skincare product that combats wrinkles. That's pretty cute. So I brought in my Versed Press Restart Gent Gentle Retinol Serum, and I've only been using this like once or twice a week but I want to move up to two or three times a week. So twice a week would be eight and three times a week would be 12. So I kind of went in between and I'm putting a 10 usage goal on this one. Then my second prompt was Poodle. And this one says a product that makes you feel high maintenance, a bougie item in your collection. I don't have a lot of high end, although I've been kind of venturing into the high end eyeshadow palettes lately with some Sydney Grace and Nomad but I'm going to actually pull in the Lancome Tainty Doll Ultra Wear Foundation. This is the only high-end foundation that I own. This one is in 215 Buff Neutral, Buff Neutral, I think. I am going to put a 10 usage goal on this. I don't use it very often because it's, again, one of those things where I don't want it to run out, but then if I don't use it, it's going to go bad, and then I'm going to have to throw it away. So 10 uses. This one is interesting because the first time I used it, I did not like it at all. Um, it didn't set well on my skin. It looked heavy and makeup-y. And then the next time I used it, I forgot to put primer on and it was beautiful. So for me, this is a really weird and unusual foundation in that it looks better when I don't use primer with it. So 10 uses. The third one was agility. And this is something that requires practice to use. And for that, I went to false lashes because they definitely require practice to use. I am going to pull in these Deodor or Deodor, Doder. I don't know how you pronounce it. But anyway, get them on Amazon. I found out about them from Leanna Dalton. They're her favorite lashes. And I like a half lash because it doesn't completely cover up your eye look. 
So I am going to use these. And 10 seemed like a lot, but five seemed too easy. So I split the difference and we're going eight. So there's an eight usage goal on these. So eight times in the next month, I need to use false lashes. And I have really gotten away from wearing false lashes. So having these out will make me remember to use them. Then Pug is an item with cute packaging. And for this, I pulled in my ZC palette. ZC sent me some PR last year, and I actually have a code for them. It's down in the description box if you want to buy anything. And one of the products that I chose was this Alice in Wonderland palette. And I used this again recently. I hadn't used it in a long time, but I used it again recently and really liked it. So I am going to pull this in and see if I can get some more use out of it. And I put a five usage goal on that. And the reason I stuck with five is because it's a very specific color story. It's very pink and I don't always want pink. So I went with five. If I had to pick which one I think I'm not going to meet my goal on in one month, it's probably this one. I think I can meet them on the rest of them. And I don't know if I'm going to get three uses in with this red or not, but I'm going to give it a shot. So this project started on October 22nd, which is National Pet Day or Cats and Dogs Day or something like that. Anyway, that's why it's cats and dog themed and why it comes out about that time of the month. So I'm going to put pet pictures of my pets right here. This is our dog, Kyla. She's actually my daughter's dog. She is the sweetest puppy. She's a, she's a mutt that we rescued. My daughter had been wanting a dog, but she said if she got a dog, she definitely wanted a rescue because she wanted to make sure that a dog that didn't have a home got one. And so someone brought, the, brought this little flea ridden puppy into the shop where my son was working at the time. And he called and said, do you want a dog? And, I, and so I went up and I looked at her and completely fell in love with her, brought her home, bathed her, treated her for fleas, took her in, got her shots and everything. And she's just been a wonderful dog. I think we've had her seven years now. And then this over here is my cat, Leonard. And I got him two years ago on Halloween. I was over at a friend's house and this little kitten came up and was just lost and meowing. And he chose me. So the universe gave me a cat. Leonard is short for Leonardo DiCaccio, by the way. And I think he's a really sweet cat. He comes when I call him and he loves treats and he loves to be brushed and he's a good mouser as well. So those are my pets. I'm having fun with this panning project and I love that it gives you a focus on where to look to pull out products that you might not use all the time and just really give some old products some love. I think with this economy that there's more interest in using what we have and I feel like maybe the era of overconsumption in the YouTube beauty space might be kind of dwindling. I see a lot of people wanting more content using old makeup or with techniques and tutorials and that kind of stuff rather than just the new, the new bye bye bye. And I want you to know that I am here for it because I don't have a very large budget for makeup and I have to buy everything that I use or that I want to review for you. So these kind of fun projects and tutorials and that sort of thing are really where I want to focus my energy. If you like that idea and want to come along for the ride, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, and before you leave, please don't forget to go down and tap that like button. That tells YouTube that you liked it and that other people who are like you might also appreciate seeing it. If you don't have to run and you got a little more time to spend on YouTube, take a peek at one of those videos over there. If you can't stick around, that's okay. I'll see you in the next one. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye-bye.